Hey, what's up there? Welcome to another edition of Rudiments 101. This episode, we're going to deal with the single stroke. And to be honest, the single stroke, for me, created um, a lot of problems. I don't know why. It was just one of the hardest ones for me to really get. I never had a problem with doing... Um, uh, single strokes in a piece of music or whatever, but when it came to the rudiment, I always had some problems. So, there's a little background on, on me with that one. So let's just do what we normally do. I'm going to play it. We'll see how it goes. I'll critique it. Uh, I'll probably do something stupid, and then I'll tell you how to, how to, help, uh, how to help you make it better. Okay? So let's see if we can uh, do this thing here. about that one I think I hit a rim shot near the end uh, I might get some comments about the technique or whatever and uh, I'm not going to address those here because um, what's up Cletus hey man I can see myself yeah it's good you know it's called a camera that's a screen or whatever what are you doing? Watch the shades, fool. Sorry, man. You know, my bad. Now what? Hey, man. What that say? Well, here, just read it. What, man? I'm a camel. I can't read. Oh man, I didn't know. I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't think about it, brother. I'm out. Peace. Cletus, don't have your feelings hurt, man. It's cool. Uh, Alright, anyway. Single stroke to make it better. Try this exercise. Anything that you play really with one hand, anytime you're doing this kind of thing. that does that and just helps you develop a basic rebound stroke. A rebound stroke is not this. A rebound stroke is this. And it is not as easy as it looks. This is a controlled stroke. When you hit the drum and the stick stays there ready for something like a tap. For, I mean, a grace note for a flam. If you did a rebound stroke, you're not going to be there, right? So, uh, practice that. I would practice just this. One of the things I used to do is I used to take songs that I like, like on the radio or, you know, whatever you like to listen to now, whether it's Gaga or Michael Buble, it doesn't matter. Whatever tempo that was, if it was, uh, say, at a tempo like this, I would go along with it. Either like... I normally picked a faster speed so I could get a flow going. I found when I was younger that playing like that... I'm even having problems on this because I didn't learn this technique till fairly recently so I'm still working it out but if you go a little faster where you don't have time to think about 
the next stroke or to think about what I'm doing with my hand while this hand's doing it. You have to find that space in there. I found that when I'm doing this hand, okay, and I go to this one, it I get confused, or I would, with what am I supposed to be doing with this hand while this hand's playing. You see? And when it's faster, you lose that that space, that time in between for your brain to go, well, what am I supposed to be doing with the hand that's not playing? Okay? Um, just do that for a while. See what happens. And um, keep working on it. Uh, you know, the only thing you can do is get better. Even if you practice, practice the incorrect way, I found that everyone's going to do it. But even practicing something incorrectly in the future, if you keep playing, can develop into something that you can use, kind of what, what I call my bag of tricks, stuff that I can do because I played with the wrong technique for a couple of years back in junior high and a couple of years back in over in high school. I developed a couple of things that I can do that, you know, are just basically tricks. But um, anyway, practice that one. Don't get discouraged. Watch some of the other videos. Learn. Watch other videos everywhere else. And uh, remember, man, if you get frustrated, it's just drums. Check you later.